Hi guys, it's Ben here. Welcome to my preview of Liverpool vs Manchester City. It's the first time I've been on my desk since Philip Coutinho left the club. Um, apologies for that. The reason I've not really been back talking about transfers is because nothing's really uh, come up in the reports that we're going to sign anyone to replace him. Normally I'll be here talking every day about people we've been linked with, but the kind of common consensus seems to be that Thomas Lamar will have to wait until the summer. Um, I, I saw that the manager came out and actually kind of hinted that he might be open to selling, but Liverpool, it seems, are not going to act upon that for now. That may change later on in the window. I think everyone's kind of losing their heads, thinking we won't sign anyone. I don't actually think we will either. Um, there was Riyad Mahrez, links. Um, they seem to be far-fetched. Um, I mean, I went on Instagram live just after the Coutinho thing was announced, so make sure you follow me on Instagram if you're not already, because that is where you often get some live reactions from me. Um, but, obviously, I'm devastated about that. Uh, goes without saying, he's he would have contributed a lot towards the second half of the season. We are going to be a lot weaker without him. It's a huge risk to get rid of him now. It's a, a huge mistake to get rid of him now, if you ask me. Um, we are a lot, you know, that weakens us compared to our rivals. Arsenal are going to lose Sanchez as well, though, so uh, whether they replace him remains to be seen. But, yeah, it's, um, it's kind of dampened the mood since that wonderful derby win, since th three back-to-back 2-1 -back great occasions. Um, this has kind of dampened the mood. We're all kind of a bit worried about what the next sort of five months have in store for us, whereas there was this pure excitement. Um, but look, we might go on to sign somebody, who knows. But we've got the big game against Manchester City on Sunday. It's a game I'm very excited for. We, we still do have enough in our team uh, over 90 minutes at Anfield to treble them. Um, the bookies have got us at 2-1 to one outsiders, understandably, so they haven't lost a ho uh, in the Premier League all season. Um, we are without key players, obviously, one of them being Coutinho. Um, no longer with us. Um, City, I've got some absentees, obviously Gabriel Jesus, not available for them. Um, David Silva, it's touch and go. I know he's having some personal problems and sort of coming back and forth between Spain and here. Whether he'll make it, I'm not sure, but Gundogan's been playing well for them. Bernardo Silva's had everyone on the side, so there's obviously tons of options for them. But I think it's going to be a very open and entertaining game of football. Um, as it was at the Etihad before the red card, I thought that was, I thought we pretty much matched them for. Well, it must have been 20 minutes before the, the madness that ensued with the red card and then afterwards. So, um, But we've got to carry the momentum that we've been taking on the pitch uh, through here. We can't be thinking about Coutinho. Just as I said before Everton, we cannot be thinking about the Brazilian. We need to just concentrate on the task in hand. We weren't great uh, against Everton. We weren't great against Burnley. We kind of got through those, but we've had a long time to recover and a long time to think about this one. Um, the players hopefully are in an okay mood, they still have plenty of belief. Mo Salah is back in training, looks like, looks like he's going to be fit to feature in this one. Daniel Sturridge back in training too, whether he features... I mean, I thought it might be an opportunity for him. I thought with Coutinho going, uh, whether it's dropping um, somebody back into the midfield or dropping him back into a number 10 position, giving Sturridge a chance out wider up front, I thought that might have been an option. Um, but the likelihood is we'll go with an orthodox front three of the Salah. Mane and Firmino, or at least an, uh, you know, uh, some sort of similarity to that. Uh, maybe Oxlade Chamberlain plays in midfield. So let's talk about the lineup. I think we'll go with Simon Mignolet in goal with Gomez, Van Dijk. I mean, who partners Van Dijk is an interesting one. Um, I say Ragnar Klavan because I think he's been the best over the last six to eight weeks for Liverpool in terms of centre backs. Um, Robertson, Chan, Van Aldem, Oxlade Chamberlain, Firmino, Salah. And man, I think that's going to be the 11. I'd like that to be the 11. Um, and I think we've got enough to cause some problems. I think it's going to be a draw, if I'm going to make a prediction. Um, I think it's going to be a two-all draw. There's going to be plenty of chances, plenty of goals. Um, Aguero is going to, looks like he's going to start up front for City. Uh, with, with Jesus being out, they've got the pace of Sally and Sterling on either side. Sterling never scored at Anfield um, for, for City. He is due one. Uh, he's scoring a lot of goals for them this season, so we've got to be careful with him. And obviously, Fernandinho sitting does a fantastic job for them. Um, and De Bruyne is the, the main danger man. I mean, his delivery, we're going to have to be on our toes at all times. He could just whip across in for absolutely nowhere at any point. Um, probably the best player in the league at the moment. Uh, David Silva, if he makes it, is a wonderful little player. We all know how, how he can impact games. Um, Defensively, I think you, you can you can get at them. It depends who's fit. I mean, they've been chopping and changing a bit at centre back as of late. Mangala's been having a few games, but he had a nightmare in the cup. I thought against Bristol City, I thought it was dreadful. Um, whether they go with Delph or Danilo, um, imagine they're going to play uh, Kyle Walker um, and obviously Edison in goal. It's it's going to be an exciting one. 
All I can say is hopefully our minds are fully at the task in hand. Um, we've got some exciting fixtures coming up. We've got an exciting run in the Champions League to look forward to. Um, let's not let let's not let the transfer sagas get us down because I remember this was kind of the case back in August. We were getting concerned towards the end of the window that we weren't going to sign anybody. We beat Arsenal four 0 um, Yes, Arsenal were terrible, but we put it behind us. We weren't thinking about anything else. And then, and then after that was when we didn't sign anyone on deadline day, and all hell broke loose again. Um, so, it's all, and then we had a bad September. So, if we do have a bad window, let's just not. Let's hope the players don't let it get to them. Um, I'm predicting two two, uh, but I, you know, I, I think it's a good chance. I think two to one's a good price for Liverpool to win this game. Uh, let me know your predictions. Leave a comment below for that. I'll be back very soon. Follow my other socials, as Ben might say, on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.